What's up everyone, Max here, and there is something I gotta get off my chest. So the new consoles are out, they're pretty freaking cool, there's some minor gripes that we have with little things here and there, but mostly my Xbox One is now my Killer Instinct system, and it's doing a pretty freaking good job so far. Now there's a couple other games on the system that I'm pretty happy with how they turned out, Crimson Dragon being one, they took out the Kinect requirement, game's freaking fantastic, classic Panzer Dragoon, love it to death. But there's been a couple of titles that I definitely feel that we need to talk about something regarding the mandatory connect requirement for some of these games. And game number one is one that actually looks freaking amazing at first glance and in passing, and it's for free. It's Connect Sports Rivals. Now, this is this is actually something I was really looking forward by Rare. Sure, Rare has done a lot of like the Connect Sports titles in the past, and it's kind of what they do now. But holy crap, look at this freaking game. It looks freaking brilliant. This is like classic Wave Race, classic Sega-style arcade Wave Race-style gameplay. You know, Nintendo 64 era, it's harken back. It looks freaking fantastic. Sure, there's product advertisement all over the place, but dude, this game looks freaking great. Let's go. Oh, it's it's Connect only. Well, I'm sure this won't be so bad. We can just hook up our Connect, configure things to go as it normally would, and... Oh my god, it's a disaster. Seriously, there's a, there's a big problem with Kinect as far as like fidelity and recognizing your, your movements and just functioning in general. I don't get it, man. And when we actually have to play a game like this, a game like Kinect Sports Rivals that looks freaking fantastic and looks like a game I would love playing with a controller, you have to play it with the Kinect only. There is no other option. You are forced to use the Kinect in whatever way you possibly can to make it work. And to be honest, I tried playing this game a multitude of times now, like four or five times to get it to work or function normally, and I just don't get how to do it. It doesn't make any sense to me. I've tried everything physically I can do with my body to make it perform, and it never works right. It never has the fidelity of just playing with a controller. Some similar stuff has recently happened too. I mean, I'm not in a very large room when I'm playing with my Xbox One. There's maybe like 15 by 15 square foot room. It's not big. It's not huge by any means, but there should be enough room to freaking look at the floor and recognize what's going on. And for some reason, it's just so damn hard to make it work normally. And other games, like as a great example, Fighter Within, it's not a terrible game. I mean, it's a terrible game, but it's not freaking awful. It's actually kind of fun, but when you have the connect and certain people just kind of like pop in and out and it loses that fidelity every once in a while, you kind of lose the overall experience of a fighting game when the thing does not pick up on your actions and, you know, relay the response as fast as you would like it to. I know the connect is great for things like sports and fitness and stuff like that. It's probably freaking fantastic for that, like, Zumba fitness stuff and whatever the heck is going on. But I personally don't care too much about it. I want it to make my games function and feel good. And so far, it's kind of done exactly the opposite of that. And my bigger issue is that these two titles, Fighter Within and Connect Sports Rivals, could actually be pretty freaking decent if they let us just play with a controller. Yeah, Fighter Within looks like kind of like generic hokey crap with all of its characters, and it's just Tao Feng 2. But it's it's not awful. Like you look at it, the graphics aren't that bad. The character designs are kind of wacky. But if I could just use a controller and it was a four-button fighting game, dude, that might be not terrible. It might actually be pretty freaking fun for a little while. What I'm trying to get at is, in my opinion, Fighter Within and Kinect Sports Rivals are two examples of games that were designed around the Kinect and using the Kinect only. However, if there was an option, if there was merely an option in a menu just to allow you to use a controller instead of the Kinect to make both of them an option, they would be infinitely better games, and I would have way more fun playing both of them if it let me choose how I wanted to play instead of forcing the way to play on the game. Because when you take one thing and you have Kinect designed around a game, sure, I understand it's designed around it, but it's not really doing much more for it. In the case of Fighter Within, I could kind of go with you there, but especially for the case of Kinect Sports Rivals, Dude, this game, I wish I could play with a controller so bad, it hurts, because I love me some arcade racing games. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have you had a lot more a lot more successful attempts with using the Kinect? I'm not gonna lie, it, put, it could just be me. It could be my weird, awkward room. It could be just a combination of things. I'm too tall for this room, who knows, man. There could be a lot of stuff that's interfering this. I just don't not have a big enough area 
to make the Kinect work the way that it should potentially. But if you're one of those guys where both of these games has worked amazing for you, let me know in the comments below. This is just my personal experience, there's a chance it could be totally different for anybody else. I just only hope that in the future we get an option instead of nothing at all. My name is Maximilian, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you next time.